welcome back to a new video and today I have a requested video uh, under my previous videos in a comment there was somebody who asked me if I could do a playlist video of course I can so here I am ready to make a playlist video but I wouldn't be Shanna if I wouldn't put my own twist to it so what I did is I chose my favorite songs to listen to on vinyl because, as you guys know, I collect vinyl and I love it, so um, I love to rumble about it as well. It's kind of a playlist video, but it's not in the playlist, but that's fine. I think you get the point of the video. Anyways, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I put a lot of time into this video. It took me a lot to film this, so I hope you will like it. Well, let's go. Now this is one of my favourite songs by Supertramp and if you know me you know that I love Supertramp and Roger Hudson is just so talented and in Don't Leave Me Now his voice comes to his right so well it's such an emotional song to me I just can't listen to that song without crying and tearing up because it's so beautiful Um, that one to legs is so underrated and I hate it because it's such a beautiful song and why? I have a specific reason why because it's technically also a really good song. When you listen to the intro you're like this is rock, this can't be rock. Then the first couple of seconds of the intro end and it, it transfers into some physicalic bullshit as I call it. It's not bullshit but you get what I mean. And that transition, and then the transition to the actual song, like the the singing part where Freddie hits all those fucking notes, is ridiculously well done. Bohemian Rhapsody is good. And this song is just on the same level as Bohemian Rhapsody, but there are less genres in it. It wasn't the same old album though, so you can really see that in that album they got absolutely ridiculously experimental and that they, they took a night at the opera quite literally, if you listen to to it because there is quite a lot of like classical intros or classical parts in the songs from that album and that's why I love that on two legs and I love the lyrics it's just so great This is the Live at River Place version. I don't like the studio recording. I'm not a big fan of that, even though Bon Scott was the one who sung the recorded studio version. And the Live at River Plate one is obviously by Brian Johnson. But it's so ridiculously good. It's, it's so well done. You can really feel the energy they put in there. And Angus, who plays that guitar like a madman, it's so good. We got some. Dirty deeds done, dirt cheap, that's what we got!
Roll Over Beethoven is the first single that I got. Uh, one day my grandfather gave me a, a bunch of vinyl and there were some singles and that was actually the first like couple of, of records that I got and one of the singles was the single where Roll Over Beethoven was on and I absolutely adore it. Ever since it has been one of my favourite Beatles songs. This one is from my favorite Pink Floyd album, The Wall, of course. Might be a little bit basic, but I love The Wall. The Wall and The Division Bell both are absolute favorite albums. Run Like How is such a beautiful song. I love that intro. I love the drums in this one, and it just keeps getting me. It never feels to get on me and make me love it, like, so much. So this was the video, these were all the, the songs that I really wanted to discuss with you guys. These are my absolute favourites at this moment. I have way more so I could easily make a second uh, video. If you want me to do that then put your thumbs up and leave it in the comments down below if you want to see that. Of course don't forget to subscribe because then you won't miss the video if there comes a part two. Goodbye!